In this video, I'll explain why two's components have been widely used in modern computers to represent assigned integers. This number wheel is the 5-bit two's complement integers. Positive numbers and zero are simply represented as themselves. Negative numbers are represented in this way. Invert every bit of its positive equivalent and then add one. For example, suppose we want to find out how to represent negative three in two's complement. First of all, we translate positive three to binary. In this, in the, in the first step, we flip every bit. In the second step, we add one. The final result is 11101, which is the two's complement representation of negative three. Why do we use two's complement? One of the advantages is that two's complement can simplify hardware imitation of arithmetic functions. For addition or subtraction in two's complement, the hardware can ignore the sign of operands if signed integers are represented in two's complement. For multiplication, the multiplication hardware can also ignore the sign of operands if the product is required to keep the same number of bits as operands. This property simplifies the hardware design for addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Note that this property does not hold true for division. We'll use a very simple example to show that. The hardware adder for adding unsigned numbers also works correctly for adding sign numbers. Suppose we are adding negative 9 and 6. These two sign numbers are represented in two's complement in computers. Specifically, we can obtain the two's complement representation of negative 9 by flipping all bits and adding 1. The two's complement of a positive number is itself. Let's see what will happen if the hardware treats these two input are unsigned numbers. If these binary bits represent unsigned numbers, they are 23 and 6, respectively. Therefore, the hardware adds 23 and 6 and produces 29 in decimal or 11101 in binary. If the output represents a signed integer into its complement, it actually represents negative 3. This can be proved by inverting all the bits and adding 1. The result, negative 3, is exactly the thumb of the original signed input. This example shows that without any modification, the hardware adder designed for adding unsigned numbers works correctly for adding signed numbers. Similarly, the same subtraction hardware works correctly for both signed and unsigned subtraction, even though the sign of input operands is not examined. This example subtracts 6 from negative 9. The hardware ignores the sign of the inputs and subtracts 6 from 23, and the result is 17 in decimal or 10001 in binary. If the result represents a signed integer into its complement, the result is negative 15. This is exactly the result of subtracting the original signed integers. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.